times you want to uh, have a program that has certain logging so that you can uh, watch the process and uh, determine if everything is running correctly or perhaps if, if things are not running correctly is what you then you want to know so if we have a simple program let's say has a function divide uh, a by b then uh, we could simply have that it returns a time divided by b so we could actually print that print a divided by b and let's say 10 divided by 5 which is of course 2 then uh, there could be cases in which this program does not work for example we could have a divide by 0 uh, in that case we want to show a certain error um, we can do so by importing the logging module and simply add an if uh, if statement there so if b smaller or equal to zero, uh, then we throw an error. So uh, we could say error or warning, depends. So now if b is smaller or equal to zero, it will show, throw a warning. And in this case, it doesn't throw anything, uh, but we can divide 2 by 0. And then we'll see a warning here that something went actually wrong. Uh, there's other logging messages you can show, for example, the information. Uh, so, called divide AB. So, that's actually an information uh, log message which is not showing right now uh, because of the logging level so you have uh, five levels of logging you have debug, information, warning, error and critical then depending on how you configure uh, the logging uh, level it will either show those messages or not show so uh, sounds more complicated than it is um, so you can simply set the default logging method so the lowest level is um, debug. So it will show everything. So we call the function AB uh, divide, we call it again, and so on. Um, so there's five levels. Uh, let me just give you them. It's debug. So I have the function debug uh, info warning, error, and critical. Then depending on uh, the level you specify, messages will be shown or not shown. So if I said that it should only show warning and higher, then the information messages uh, will be ignored. So why will they be ignored? Uh, because information is lower than the warning level. So you can use this logging module to, to track uh, the entire uh, process in your program so whether the uh, functions are called and uh, you can also uh, use it for debugging so you can check for warnings errors and other type of information to find if there is an error in a program where it is and you can also just use it to go through your program and uh, find out what's going on 